Last breakfast in Greece. Oh my god. <coughs> Some dogs again. We're not sure if we want to cross the road. Oh now he's now he's quiet. Oh hey, let's go. Although we spoke to other cyclists and they said Albania should be crucial regarding the drivers as well. So they recommended we drive inland. We'll see. I think we'll try two stages on the coastline. And if that is no fun, we'll drive inland. But that means a lot of incline and altitude and mountains and I don't like that as well. We will see. We're in Albania! Woo -hoo -hoo. Directly after crossing the border there was a Vodafone shop and we wanted to buy a SIM card because Albania is not included in the EU roaming but only cash and we don't have enough cash for that so we'll have to get one tomorrow I think. Unbelievable. Um, overall, very loud, very touristic. Not a single spot without a sun bathing chair. Oh my god. up these mountains today it's going to be tough but interesting well a little frightening <laughs> to think we have to we have to climb those but we will do it you know uh, well maybe you see me struggling later but I'm optimistic It's so hot. <laughs> so hot. Oh, I hope we find more drinking water. 4.7 kilometers later. <sighs> and yes, I'm struggling now. Okay, well, part of me can really not believe we're doing this. Oh, there's even another car. But, I mean, I'm so proud of us. Look where we are. We're driving up here, up the mountains, with our bike and the luggage. I mean, that's amazing. Down there, there's a dried out riverbed. We want to make it to a waterfall. Let's hope that that is not dry as well, but I read a Google uh, review from three weeks ago that said there was water. Okay, I'm even more proud of us. So we've had three or four dog encounters so far. It gave us the chills, you know, it was, they were aggressively barking and some dogs bit in my bags already and I was 
bit by a dog when I was a little child. I'm not usually scared of them in Germany, but those aggressive dogs that I used for protecting some property or whatever, I'm scared of them. Alex respects them too. There are a lot of wild dogs, not only in Greece, but also in Albania and all the other countries that we're going to drive through. But usually the wild dogs are not that aggressive. It's more the dogs that protect some property. So we're, we're driving through the middle of nowhere here. There was a dog barking from far away. We saw three dogs. Yeah, we stood at the edge that you can just see behind the corner there for the last 35 minutes, thinking about what we should do got us a stick to we didn't want to beat the dogs obviously but we heard that if you have a stick with you and it, you make it look like you could defend yourself they are a bit more cautious and then we got a bit closer we walked there first and we saw the dog wasn't as big as it looked and then we saw it was a mother protecting her two babies and as we got closer, we tried to talk calmly to the dog and she went away, barking, but she went away. And I'm so proud of us for managing this because honestly, we thought about <laughs> driving back all the way and changing our route completely because we are afraid of dogs. Yes, I'm saying it, we are afraid of dogs. the way we're in a little village and the road we're driving on all the time is just the main road to get to that village and also uh, to get to all the other villages that lie ahead of us in this direction we're driving towards Flora or Flore or something like this oh, and it's beautiful the sun is already setting or kind of I mean uh, sunsets are very early here about 6 6 30 and it's end of August. It's unbelievably pretty. Welcome to our premium camp spot. The best camp spot I've ever, ever, 
ever seen. I mean, look at the ground. It's flawless. There's not a single stone that's going to scratch our tent. There's not a single plant. There's nothing. It's, it's even, the most even surface ever. It's not a, um, it, it looks like a path, but it ends behind the corner here. And oh my God, I cannot believe it. The sun is about to set. We wanted to go a bit further, but this spot can just not be topped by anything. And we're so high up. It should be a kind of cooler night because these mountains, I'm not sure about this one, but this one that you see here um, has a mountain top of about 1,400 meters. Yep. I'm proud of us.